what is up Uplanders? I'm on zero sleep. The LA launch happened and it is the middle of the night in Australia when that happens. It was two in the morning when it happened and anyone that did it knows that there was a few glitches and a few bits and pieces and it went a bit longer than we would have liked. So um, I just kicked through and I'm still going and it's, um, it's now 11.30 a.m. So I'm, I'm charging. I've had a few of these and we're going. So if you did do the stress test, um, what did you think? How would you rate it? A, B, C, F? I know a lot of people were mad. I saw on the Discord. Um, but I'm going to give it, because I'm a positive guy, I'm going to give it a B plus. It was good. It was a good launch. It was a good launch. There was some dramas, but at the end of the day, it's a game, guys. We can't, if the worst thing in the world that's happening is um, our game isn't loading. We're, we've got a pretty good life, I reckon. So I'd also love to know how many properties you picked up. So that's what this video is sort of going to be. It was the little strategy, my moving strategy, where I only had 100,000 UPEX and I ended up with 20 properties um, in it. And I had to adapt a little bit with this um, because I was planning to put money in the game, but I wanted to, I was going to spend 100 first and see where it was all at, test the waters and then put more money in. But I'll explain why I didn't do that in a second. All right, let's just get into it. I'm going to try and remember this as best I can. Um, so bear with me, um, zero sleep, a lot of caffeine, and not a great memory to start with. So first launch, obviously we know the day before, Montecito Heights ended up picking up this little juicy one, which was good, so I was happy. Second stress test, 8 a.m. yesterday, um, Mount Washington. So I got real lucky with this. I, um, I actually picked up three properties, wasn't planning to, I was only ever gonna buy one. This wasn't a suburb I was looking at, but I don't know, I just got excited. I bought it, I was like, you know, I bought it, I was like, oh, 12,000, you know, like, it wasn't a great buy, but I was like, oh, good yield, yeah, and then I think I think I owned, like, maybe this one and this one as well, I owned, I owned three, just, like, literally in this little circle, and then I was like, why did I do that, like, I pretty much blew all my money in the first suburb sort of thing, no, I didn't blow it all, but I was, I was good, like, half through my money, and I was like, I didn't even want to be in this suburb, what are you doing, but anyway, immediately, um, I just put them straight back up, and I sold them for, I believe, 34, I think they were. I think I sold them for 34 or 35. So, boom, 3X straight away. I was um, I was absolutely stoked on those because I think these ones are a little bit cheaper than the other ones I picked up. I think they're about 11 when I minted them. Oh, you sold it cheap. No, it couldn't have been that one. But anyway, they were along here. It was, it was about three. And um, I still own this one. I was like, I'll keep him. Um, so that happened, it all went smooth, the game was running so smooth, it's, oh, I'm going to try and get this, oh, actually I've got plenty of sense, what am I doing? Um, so that all goes good and then I, I messed up the next one, so the next launch was meant to be Fairfax and Harbour City, I think it's called, um, so Fairfax and then um, Harbour City down here, which is this one, okay, so I went out for a cigarette and then I've checked my Discord and they've gone, we're splitting it up into two. And I, I don't know how I missed this, but we're splitting it up into two. So we're doing Harbour City and Fairfax separately. I meant to do them at the same time. I wasn't planning to buy in Fairfax. So I was down, I was coming down here and then I checked my Discord and went, oh no, I don't know why, but then I, I sent myself to Fairfax, sold out. I was like, oh man. Five minute warning to come back down to Harbour City. So I come back, you know, I had to wait. So I've, I've wasted sends. I was a bit, I was getting low on sends at this point. Um, Cause I didn't want to take too many cause I didn't want to take them off other players. And I had about six or seven to start with, but I really should have stuck up more. But anyway, I picked up this, which is pretty, like a decent property. I was um, happy with the land size of it. Um, and this is where I was starting to get a bit excited with the game because I'm getting good size properties, decent prices um, and really good yields on them. I was like, yeah, man, this is awesome. But then I went to pick up a couple of little cheap ones in here as well, ended up wasting heaps of sends. And I, I picked up one and it was cheap and it was good land size. And um, But then I was like, oh, what are you doing? Why, are you, why do you keep doing this? I, I panic, but panic by. So I, I flipped it as well and it went, it, I flipped that at a really good price too. So I'm way up, I'm way up already. And um, so, we go to launch, the actual launch, and I'm like, the game has, I've seen some people say it's lagging, it's pinwheeling, My, mine is running so smooth. I'm, I'm like, man, I'm gonna kill this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run LA, I like, think I'm gonna be Scarface. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm killing it. I've sold properties for more than I bought them for. I've got more money than what I started with, and 
um, I had a few properties. I'm like, this is awesome. So my next one was I was going to go to Koreatown. Now, just forgive me, I don't know exactly where it is. Oh, it's up here, isn't it? So I'm looking around Koreatown and I just couldn't find anything I liked and it was very expensive and my personal opinion on it was, even though I do think it probably will be a collection, I was sitting there going, man, if this isn't a collection, like, you know what I mean? Like, look at these prices. I mean, I know that's, you know, great yield and stuff, but like, I was sitting there, like, was, the cheap ones were 70, 80. I'm going, oh man, like, this, this, isn't, this isn't right, you know, this isn't working. So we've launched, everything's going good, um, and, but then it starts pinwheeling, and I'm going, oh no. Oh no, like this is bad. I couldn't get anywhere. I'm seeing in the Discord people are buying all their properties, people are putting up their cool properties in downtown and uh, Hollywood. I'm going, oh no, I'm missing out. So, anyway, I was going to head towards the, the harbour. I wasn't going to go downtown or Hollywood or anything just because I don't like the super competitive um, areas. Um, I'd rather sort of play it safe. But this was my little dark horse for a collection as well. And there's actually a few still here to mint if you're quick. But I picked up this little bad boy. Um, and it was okay. I just, I was just, I'm just banking on it becoming a, a um, collection. But it has great yield, so I was like, good property size in a well-known area. Um, so I was like, whatever, that's all good. But this is when the game really started like shitting itself, like pretty much. It was going really bad. So my next one was I was going to Inglewood. I picked up two. No, I picked up one there, and immediately re didn't regret it. But I was just like. I don't know, I just was like, because it's, it's more for the NFL legits and stuff, and the, the stadiums there and stuff, so I was like, just flip it, flipped it, boom, triple again. I was like, oh man, killing it. But that's when the game really went sideways. And um, so I've got a few properties I've, I wanted. Um, I've, I'm, I can't complain at this point, but the game, I couldn't even send anywhere. Um, I ended up in this random spot, like, I think it was around here. Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, it was here. So I ended up in here, and at this point there was nothing minted here except for maybe this. And I just panicked, and I just bought like this one, and I think another one for like thirty six. I don't know what suburb it was in. I don't. I didn't check. You know, yield. I didn't really look at the. I'm like, what are you doing? But anyway, it ended up being okay. And the other one was very similar. It might have even been that one. But um, it was close anyway. And then um. The game was just so bad at this point, like you couldn't move, you couldn't send, error, error, error. I didn't want to log out of the game and back in just in case I couldn't get back in. So I'm sort of, um, I'm stressing at this point and I just stupidly panic bought a couple of properties. And then um, the game goes down. So at this point I'm like, you know what, I don't feel comfortable putting more money in the game right now. Um, I didn't want to put money in this account anyway. This account is actually my, I'm trying to do, I'm doing a, a test to see if I can turn $300 into, um, I want to become, have 10 million from $300 in a relatively fast manner. So I actually didn't want to add a huge amount. Um, I was thinking I might drop a couple hundred in or at one point I was like, maybe I'll just put a thousand in. But at this point, the game's glitching. I'm like, what if I go to put money in and it glitches and I, the transaction just like, it takes my money, but I don't, you know, just something like that. And I'm happy with the properties, but I'm not like, it's not like we're picking up crazy properties for like not much. Like um, I'd definitely say the mint prices were fair and they were very good, but there, were, there wasn't like steals, you know what I mean? Or if they were, the people that are much better at the game were getting them, it, um, you know? So, but having said that, like I said, uh, I couldn't complain. We're doing pretty good. So this thing's glitching for a long time and everyone's blowing up on Discord and, you know, people are going, oh, I quit the game. I was like, man, if a, a pinwheel is the worst thing going on in your life, you know, you know, it's, it's not that bad a life sort of thing. So I'm glass half full sort of guy. So I was like, you know what, whatever. But as the maintenance is sort of happening, I'm sort of thinking, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to switch up strategies and I'm going to try and flip a few of the more expensive properties I had. So this $30,000 one I put up, I put up Inglewood um, and I put up, um, I put up, I think that was it. I think I had one other cheap one. So I've done that and I've got now, and they all sold. So we come back from maintenance and they all sold. I was like, why, why are they selling when there's so many unminted properties around? Why would you buy something at 3X? But I wasn't complaining, I was stoked. So now I've got a full bag, I've got a ton of Upex. 
I'm cruising around, but I just could not buy a thing. Like, it was, I literally didn't move in. Um, I didn't do a single send in the second stint where, where it went down. So I'm just like, oh man, what do I do, sort of thing. And it's so tired. It's about three in the morning, four in the morning here. I could hear the birds coming up. The sunlight was coming through the windows. Like, oh no. And then, um, and then it goes down again. And I'm like, oh. So I go have a little break. And then um, I'm thinking, I'm like, all right, I'm going to yeah, change up my strategy. I'm going to pick up some, just going to try and find things for under 10K. I don't care where they are, um, with good land mass and good yield. Um, and the theory behind that was if I do have to, it's, it's hard to lose if you're buying the cheapest thing. You might not gain a whole lot, but it's when you're minting things at the bare minimum in the cheaper suburb, they're not going to really go down or not in my experience anyway. I haven't seen them go down. So I'm like, safe. I'll flick off some of the big ones. And the other theory was, check this out. I got a ton of sends to all my properties because I went out to places that hadn't been minted yet. And I, you know what I mean? Or maybe there was one minted and I'd, I'd just move across a bit and mint somewhere not too far away. And I, I picked, I um, actually collected this not too long ago and look already. Um, and again, I'm not a huge account. This is my little play account. So, um, that's pretty good. Like, look at all these sends, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 sort of thing. So I was like, hell yeah, like, you know, this is this is the way to do it. So I was pretty much went around and just bought properties like this. I'll show the ones I was sort of looking at. And they're still around, you know, like. So I was looking at things like these. It looks all bought up now. I, was, I think I was one of the first in around here. So I was looking for under 10, but you know, this was a bigger land size. And then good yield, so 160, pretty good. You know what I mean? And then again, I'm pretty sure this was uh, you know, 8, 72 land size and 131. So, and um, geez, I can't believe this is still for sale. That's a steal. I don't know, maybe I'll come back and maybe we'll put some money in the game. <laughs> um, but yeah, and that's what I did from then on. I just went around and every, everything I wanted to sell sold. Um, what I also did as well was, because um, I had a feeling these suburbs would sort of mint out as well, or get close to it at least. Well, there you go, just sell another one. Um, I just, yeah, I just thought, you know, I'd buy three or four and then I'd put one or two back up, you know what I mean? And sometimes I'd, you know, I'd only sell them for, you know, like maybe two or three thousand more, but, you know, it was still two or three thousand more sort of thing and it all, all added up. So I only had, I think I had one, one hundred thousand and one hundred and four thousand when I entered into LA and um, I've got pretty much zero now, um, but I've got 20 properties sort of thing so man I cannot complain and you know like some are in pretty good spots and some are like pretty decent properties um, like I said a lot of them are just cheap ones but um, I found a lot of the cheap ones like I was just I was just sort of happy with um, this one I think this one's terrible but, but let's see these like everything's over 100 out there and good land size and cheap I was just like, hell yeah, I'll just keep snapping these up. And then people just kept sending to buy out around near it and stuff. And, you know, I just, yeah, just, like I was just shocked at how good, because in, in Chicago and in a lot of the others, you might only get, I know some of my ones in Chicago, I only get like 30, 40 UPEX a month. And they're the same size. And a little bit cheaper, but, you know what I mean? And I, I think I ended up, picking, yeah, I picked up a few more down here too. Um, I want. I was like, oh, maybe I, I, I thought I didn't think about this, but I was like, oh, maybe I have a sneak down here. But it was it was actually pretty expensive, so I just picked up a couple of cheapies, I think in here, sort of thing. But yeah, that was that was it. So like, um, there was. I was pretty happy with everything. So that's not great land size, but cheap. You know, I mean, ninety three. It's not bad. Like it's it's okay. So um, yeah, that was sort of my strategy on um, how I picked up those ones um sort of quite cheap with not much money not my entering much money into the game i was um I was very i'm pretty stoked like it could have been better but at one point i was like man i'm not gonna get anything like everything's getting snapped up around me i've got i was i was barely i barely had over three cents i'd luckily get a paper airplane somewhere and you know what i mean i'd go back up to four or five and you know i'd go go somewhere and then the one i wanted got snapped up sort of thing and you know what I mean? It's a bit of a nightmare, but um, yeah. What What do you think about this strategy, guys? Do you Do you think this is like a good way to do it, or like did I just get lucky? Because 
and I picked up some cool ones too. Like I don't know, like this could just be nothing, but like that cool little round park. You know what I mean? Picked up one of these. Um, you know what I mean? Like nine thousand, one twelve. It's, it's pretty good, man. Like I can't complain. You know, like um, if if this city mints out quick, um, you know, like I dare say these are going to go up dramatically. You know, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. I, like I said, the, the only problem was the glitches. But if the glitches didn't happen, I wouldn't have switched up strategies and I'd probably have three properties in maybe collections. You know, so I'd rather have 20 spread out and who knows, you might get lucky one of these sort of things. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty stoked. So, yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys think of that strategy. Should I do that again or should I try something else? Like, what did you guys do? Um, to sort of pick up your properties and how many did you get? I'm, I'm, I want to see who picked up the most. Oh, yeah, I want to see who got the most sort of thing. So um, I'm probably going to do that again for the north, for the hills and stuff um, next week. I don't know how, I, don't, I haven't done any research on these, so I don't know if they're expensive, if they're cheap. I don't know if they, this is the hood or I, I've got no idea sort of thing. So um, yeah, I, um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wing it again. I think I think if you go in with a like a, this is what I'm gonna do in these launches, um, you, you you can come undone really quick. I think you have to adapt and move and pivot and stuff like that. When you're when it's a built out city, like for example, I might go in here and just buy up all the floor and twenty of the cheapest properties and then crank the price up of them and stuff like that. You know, I mean, that's you know, that's a different strategy. You can use strategy a lot, you know, a lot more set strategy in bought um, in bought up cities. But when it's like a free for all, and it's you know, you got you got to ration your sends, and you you know, like it's games glitching, and you know, like you had to pivot, you know, and it was it was crazy, sort of how it all played out. But um, man, I can only can only imagine how panicked the guys who were running the game would have been like two maintenance on their biggest launch. Yeah, I mean, everyone was panicking in the Discord. I can only imagine how much um, the guys were panicking in the, um, that were making the game. It would have been, would have been all, all bananas. But the odd thing was, um, so it went down. So we launched, went down, launched, went down. And then after that, I don't know about you guys, but mine was flawless since like the, the third time was like, it was, it's sometimes it pinwheeled for a few seconds and I was going, oh no, and then it would just it would load. It, it didn't like, um, it didn't pinwheel for a long time. It was, but majority, it was really, really quick. Um, and that was actually another reason why I went out. I thought maybe I was pinwheeling because I was in the really busy areas. I don't know if that has anything to do with, um, you know, why the game glitches. Like if there's too many people in one suburb, I, I don't know. But I figured like if I go out where not many people are, maybe I might pick up some more. So that was another little reason why I picked the strategy to maybe go out and flick some more of the expensive ones and get out of the center. And because I was planning to get, trying to get downtown. I was planning Koreatown. You know, I was planning, you know, to do these ones, um, but you know, had to adapt. So um, yeah, that, that's how I sort of did that one. So. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, I can't wait for round two. It's going to be awesome. So good luck, and um, see you on the next one.